good YouTube and everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the review. Plus, checking out the channel. We really appreciate it. What we're going to talk about is G.I. Joe Classified Series Agent Helix. What we're going to do is go over the measurements, scale with other figures, appearance, look at the sculpt and the paint ops, look at the piece count and the accessories, points of articulation, pricing, pros and cons, the box, and where the figure was purchased. Plus, we'll have those photos at the end. For me, guys, this character looks really cool. A lot of great things with this. Um, let me know something. Tell me something, guys. Who is your favorite G.I. Joe character? My favorite G.I. Joe character would have to be Snake Eyes. Don't know why. I've always liked Snake Eyes. Pretty cool. Pretty mysterious guy. Can fight well. Awesome character. Let me know what your favorite character is in the comments. Right now, guys, let's go ahead and roll her off the stand. And let's give her a measure to see how tall she sits. Okay, so let's go ahead and give her a measure. We'll start with the inches. Okay. Inches wise, right at six inches, okay? If she's at six inches, we know automatically, just by looking at the ruler, she's at 15 centimeters, right? That's where she's at, that's where she's standing, and that's what we're working with today. Okay, so let's scale her up with another figure. We'll just scale her with one, I only have one on hand, and we'll do Snake Eyes. Okay, that's in the G.I. Joe classified series. So the um, so the scale should be right around the same. So it looks good to me. Uh, if you look at it real closely, not bad, right? Yeah, there you go. So you do get the idea. Okay, look at the accessories. Let's go ahead and start with her arm blades here. There you go. You get two of her arm blades, right? There they are. And also you get... Uh, two pistols, there's one pistol, and there goes the next pistol, and then you get that machete right there. Yep, you get one machete. Also, you get the foot holder that holds the katanas, and there you see the two katanas there, right? Okay, so we got two on the katanas, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight on the piece count. So let's go ahead and look at these things up close. Okay, so let's look at the accessories up close. We'll start with her arm blades okay there's her arm blades here okay you see it there right you got some silver black and they do retract move they move up and down for motions you need for her poses okay right that's that one the other one exactly the same no different you got that silver paint and black here the holder that goes it connect snaps onto her wrist right and retractable okay we see those Let's go for the katanas. But first, we'll look at the foot holder for the katanas. There it goes right there. There it is. Snaps onto her back. There's a peg. Put it on her back. There you go. That holds the katanas in place. Okay. So let's look at the katanas. All right. Not a silver on here. A black. Then you have the yellow paint. Black, kind of different. Okay. That's, I would figure that would be some kind of silver. But you look at it. Trying to see if you can see the detail here. See it? There it is. It's a little bit of detail among the blade, right? Then you're yellow. Cool. And that's going to do it on the katanas. So let's look at the pistols. Because they're the same too as well. This is her weapon of choice. She dual pistols with the extra clip. Okay, you see it? All right. That is her weapon of choice. Okay, pretty simple, pretty basic. Black paint. There you go. Paint it like a pistol. Got it. Little hole in the middle, kind of. Not bad. Okay. Then, looking at her machete. There you go, the machete. Pretty simple. Black handle. Got some grooves in it. Point right there. Stick somebody with it. Or stick somebody with this. <laughs> there you go. Got the silver paint. Kinda. Kinda grayish paint. I wouldn't say silver is gray. Yeah. But that, that's it. Nothing too crazy. And that's gonna do it for the piece count and the accessories. Okay, so let's look at the appearance. Alright, we got it. There it is. You see her? There's the appearance here. Looking around. Modeling. There she goes. What is that black sliver of hair going? <laughs> what, what? What? What is she like? The opposite of Rogue? What is that sliver of black? That's that's hilarious. But the face looks pretty good, I think. Paint looks good. Not bad. Okay. Tooling. They did good on the tooling. You see the structure is good. Very proportioned. Let's go for the bottom part of the body here. Yep. Not bad. Got your gun holders there, pockets in the back, 
back. <laughs> yep, she got some ammunition on top of right here above. Well, this goes down. This is her belt, ammunition belt. Okay, there it is. Just hanging up high. Yep, so the figure looking pretty good. Stuff on her arms. Not bad at all. Not bad. And that's going to do it for the appearance. Okay, so let's look at the sculpt and the paint ops. Where'd you go? <laughs> there she is. Okay, so let's look at the sculpting of her face. You see the ears? Okay, see that? Eyes. The nose and the lips. That chin area neck. We have the hair mold. Oh, got that hair mold. Got that blonde, dirty blonde. That's a true dirty blonde. <laughs> okay. We have the shoulders, chest area with the jumpsuit. There you go. The middle of the abs. There we go. Arms. Yep. Hands. Sculpted good. All right. Hands here. Mm hmm. Okay. Like I said, we see the middle area, chest area very well. And then we look at the sculpting on the legs. Okay, you got some grays up here. Sculpting here for the uh, wrap, the holders that hold her guns, the, the straps. Yep, got that. And we have her boots here. See that? Shoes are always probably, they're always ugly. Look like some Crocs. Just funny that they make the shoes like this. You see it. That this is not good. That does not look like a a GI Joe going out to war boot. <laughs> it looks like a crock. Okay, there you go. All right. Good job on the sculpt. Not bad. I mean, especially that face. Great work, right? In the hair mold, great. Okay, so let's look at the paint ops. Okay, so let's check out the paint ops here. Let's do it. Okay, so we're looking at the face. You see that this, all this right here is kind of that tannish, probably a probably a tan color and you put a black wash to it, real thin wash to it, let it dry in there, get the grooves, not bad. You see the eyes right there, you got the white, very blue, and then you got the black eyeliner with the uh, kind of a brownish on the eyelash, it looks like. Then you have a little bit of lip color, little, little flesh color there, pinkish, and that looks really good. And then you have that sliver of black that I just can't get over. That black is hilarious. I know it deals with the character, but that is... <laughs> uh, here, here, look at the picture right here. I'm going to show you a picture of her. There you go. Check out that picture. Pretty decent picture of her. But man, that... <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, so we have some yellow here on the figure. You got some paint here pertaining to something on her arm. Some kind of gadget, right? You do have her flesh color here and here. And you also have, it. you know, it's going to be, that's the only places that are facing right here showing as a flesh color, right? Then you got the black with the straps here with a little bit of silver pertaining to her jumpsuit, right? Flows to the back. And then you're going to have her, her belt here, which is loose. And it is some, is not PVC. It's more like ABC. It's AB, ABC. ABS plastic because it's real hard. None of it's really flexible. Kind of it'll break, kind of. But yeah, it still looks good. And then here you have some plastic where her gun holders are, painted black, and her pants. And up here are all painted like a grayish color. You see it, especially here and here, all gray. But down to her boots, that's going to be a black, and it's going to be kind of a mismatch of colors of black and that grayish color. But we do like that yellow and gray together. It does look good. This character looks great. All right, guys, that's going to do it on the sculpting and the paint ops. Okay, let's do it. Let's step into that points of articulation, that POA. Let's go. Start with the head. So when you see the head move, roll around, roll, roll, rolls around very well. No, the hair's not blocking. That's nice that they did that just enough so the hair wouldn't block. Cool. Bam. Tilts are great. You got your tilt. Down. Just looking down. Oh, that's the spine. Got it. Okay, that's great. Ups is decent. Even with the hair, it's just decent. She's not really looking up, up, but she's like, that's a beautiful day. <laughs> but anyway, you got, you get the idea. In the arms here, this is a real stiff figure. Heat it up before you use it. It's real stiff. You could probably, probably break it. Okay, yeah, so that's a fly. You see that? Flies, and it flies up pretty well. You wouldn't make it look any, you know, fly up anymore. Just move that. 
twist that bicep and your hands go higher, right? That's how we do it, right? Bring it down, twist that, that, that joint there, that fly. And if you twist that bicep, that's just all you're gonna get there. And like I said, twist it again, twist the bicep to make it look like the arms there and just pull it on, on up and your hands go higher. We like that, cool with that, right? Okay, and that's gonna be the same on both sides. So we know we got the bicep swivel there and we have the latch that goes all the way in. There you go, real stiff. Like I said, get some stuff to it, you'll be good to go. All right, and then the hands, they do rotate. Well, actually, yeah, they do rotate. They do rotate and they do have a small latch inside them and but they do not there's no extra pair of hands so that's it that's it that's the same on both sides her belt here you can hold her machete in the back that's about it and then that's it it's just loose all around has all of her ammunition and then let's go to her legs here they're on dumbbell fly, dumbbell flies right there dumbbells see them dumbbell flies you do have your thigh swivel of course hasbro is real good about doing that with the thigh swivel, it's there, okay? Just like the bicep is. And then you have, I noticed something on the dumbbell flies here, that they have, it's like flexible. It moves in a motion. So you have the dumbbell fly, but it, but it does have a motion in there for you to do extra stuff. You, if you can see, it wiggles up and down. That's pretty good, okay, that's nice. That's a different feature I've seen or they already had it, I just never noticed it. Okay, that's cool. So the leg down the bottom, you have the bend in the knee, and then you have it bending all the way up. Yep, we like that. Okay, good job so far. The leg here, the feet, I mean, do rotate on that funny ball point, and it's sitting on that latch. Okay, does have a latch system, but doesn't have the pivot in the toe. No pivot in the toe. So that works on both sides of the character. Man, I do like this character. It is not bad. Let's talk about some pros and cons. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons. Uh, don't forget that after the pros and cons, I will show you some pricing on it. But okay, so for the cons, what I don't like about the figure is... I like the figure. There is no cons. It's all pros. Man, I can't believe it. it because of the fact that, look, you're looking at this figure. It's It looks good. It's proportion right. The movements are great. You can put them in great, put her in great poses. Her facial features look good. The paint looks good. I mean, that slither of black going down her nose from the hair. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it still looks great. Her accessories are amazing because you get a nice amount of accessories, a lot of different accessories, and, and you can put them in different areas. There's guns, there's swords, there's knives, and then she has these, uh, those pistols. I mean, I mean, I mean, not the pistols, but the, uh, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, she does have. What you're looking for in a figure is worth the price. So, guys, for me, all pros, no cons. So, she's going to get a 5 out of 5. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. How far am I off on that? Or am I right on? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about some pricing. Okay, so here's the pricing. You see, this is BigBadToyStore.com. They're at $25.99, and it's sold out. That's, that's a bummer, but I'm pretty sure it'll be out. Just check them out and put yourself on the list let's go to entertainment earth entertainment earth has the price that i think it's at 24.99 always a dollar less and they're out as well sorry about that guys keep yourself posted and check the links hey so here's the packaging you see the figure here in the front you got the kind of pose with the figure then you have the artwork of the figure and some weapons right there if you can see it there's the weapons then you have gi joe classified with gi joe agent gi joe G.I. Joe Agent Helix right there with the Hasbro logo and the star, right? On the top of the box, you have the G.I. Joe Classified Series. On the side panel, there's some artwork over there. G.I. Joe Classified Series 104. On the side panel here, you have a code you can scan. There you go. Scan that, right? Okay. And on the back of the box, you have her in a pose with all of her accessories. Some photos here. 104. You can pause this here, read it, and we can talk about it. And there's that Hasbro logo, of course. And on the bottom of the box, boom, pause that. We can talk about that too, if you like. <laughs> okay, and that is gonna do it for the packaging. Okay, so here's the rest of the packaging inside. I thought this was pretty neat. You see how she's tucked away, right? And then she has some artwork in the background, which is pretty, pretty cool. I, I like that, you see that? Not bad. And then all of her accessories are gonna come in this, like a briefcase kind of deal. You see that? That's what it is. All right, then there you go. Not bad, kind of kind of fancy, right? We like that, and that, that'll do it. And you guessed it, you can get it at BitBadToyStore.com. 
just check out BigBadToyStore.com. So what are you waiting for? Check them out! And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video informational or you just simply enjoyed watching, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And as always, this has been another toy review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.